invite the enemy into our city. I did. As a clever man once told me, we make peace with our enemies, not our friends. I don't make peace with the Queen's enemies. I kill the Queen's enemies. Yes, that's the military approach. How has that worked here in Marine? I represent the diplomatic approach. Our Queen tried to make peace with the Masters, and they tried to murder her. We enter these negotiations with open eyes. Trust me, my own recent experience with slavery has taught me the horrors of that institution. How many days we were slave? L long enough to know. Not long enough to understand. I bought this dwarf for a single gold honor. And somehow, you've risen to the top of the Great Pyramid of Marine. It's most impressive. And now you speak for the good masters of Astapol. Here's the reversals of fortune. We came here to meet the queen, and instead we're greeted by a dwarf and a eunuch. Let's make this simple, shall we? Tell me what you want. We want you to leave Slaver's Bay. Take your dragons and your mercenaries and go. Queen Daenerys won't stay in Marine forever. The path takes her westward. When we last met, I offered her ships so she could return to Westeros where she belongs. She refused them. She refused them because hundreds of thousands of men, women, and children still lived in chains. As they have since the dawn of time. Not anymore. Oh, you think you're a free man now? You still follow orders. Just because your master has silver hair and tits doesn't mean she's not a master. Friends, 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 please. There have always been those with wealth and power and those with nothing. That is the way of the world. I'm not here to change the way of the world. Slavery is the way of our world. You don't need slaves to make money. There haven't been slaves in Westeros for hundreds of years, and I grew up richer than any of you. But our queen recognizes that she erred by abolishing slavery without providing a new system to replace it. So, here is the Queen's proposal. Slavery will never return to Marine, but she will give the other cities of Slaver's Bay time to adjust to the new order. What does that mean? Instead of abolishing slavery overnight, we will give you seven years to end the practice. Slaveholders will be compensated for the losses, of course, at fair prices. In exchange, you will cut off your support for the Sons of the Harpy. We do not support the Sons of the Harpy. Fine, fine, but you will cut it off all the same. I do hope you accept, my friends. You will not receive a better offer. Let us sail on the tide of freedom instead of being drowned by it. And as a parting gift to our honored guests. Give freedom a chance. See if it doesn't taste every bit as good as what came before. <laughs>